Well, I just finished up an engine swap on this Troy built horse tiller. And you can see I put the Predator 212 engine on it from Harbor Freight. The original engine was this old Kohler, seven horsepower. They put multiple engines on these things, but it seems like from the research that I've done and through this experience that all the engines are basically have like the same uh, output shaft, the same bolt patterns, the same keyways. I haven't run into any information that says that if you've got a horse that the 212 won't work on your Troy built horse. So the things that you want to verify though, this is the spec book for the, for the Predator 212. Now you can find this online, you go to Harbor Freight's website and this is available online. So do your research before you spend the money on the engine. Uh, but hopefully it'll show up here. The shaft diameter, the output shaft is three quarter inch. The key is three sixteenths. The engine comes with a key. The bolt pattern here, you can see these are five sixteenths, 24, that's the bolts. So they're 5 16 diameter, 24 threads per inch. That's a fine thread 5 16 bolt. And uh, what is that? 3.625 across the diagonal here. So um, you'll have to do that 0.625. What is that? 5 8? I might be wrong about that. But anyhow, so do this research first, pull your old engine off, double check, make sure, you know, make sure your bolt pattern is the same. And like I said, this is a Kohler. I've seen a lot of guys do Tecumseh conversions. And the only issue that I had was this mating surface, the distance from this mating surface of this engine to the mating surface on the pulley is different from this Kohler to the Predator, and the Predator allows the pulley to sit closer to the engine. So what you'll need to do this conversion, or you know exactly what I did, was bought a Predator 212 engine. Because the shaft is three quarter inch, buy yourself eh, three or four washers, three quarter inch diameter washers to use as shims in case you need them. I think I ended up using two washers to get my pulley to line up. Let me grab a light. To get my pulley to line up so that the belt was in a straight line and also to give me room between those bolt heads. Again, those are 5 16 24 bolts that thread into the back of the engine. If I didn't put those shims in, the pulley was up against those bolts. This on the end of the shaft that holds the pulleys on. And actually there's a pulley and there's a reverse pulley, which is a rubber, sort of rubber pulley. Um, that bolt that, that captures those pulleys onto the end of that shaft is also 5 16 24. And you see I've got lock washers there. I've got lock washers on these bolts. Um, so the original bolt that was in the Kohler shaft, again, that's a 5 16 24 on the, Col on the uh, Predator. The one on this Kohler was a 3 8 Now my concern was that this 3 8 going to a 5 16 shaft might cause an issue, but the way that this reverse pulley, the way that this reverse pulley nests onto or over top of the main drive pulley, that 3 8 hole in this pulley was not an issue because the reverse pulley nests onto the main pulley and it centers itself. So again, this is a 5 16 bolt in a 3 8 hole, but there's no issue at all. So that's the meat and potatoes of the thing, you know, getting it all to bolt up. You can run it without a throttle cable if you wanted to. Um, now I wanted to add, you know, I wanted to put throttle cable back and you can see what I've done here. So this is a new uh, part from Oregon. Oregon still manufactures it. There's the part number, 60-210. That's a six foot long throttle cable. Here's the old throttle cable, which is essentially the same. Got the same end. So, you know, my new throttle looks just like the old one. So I wanted to keep that sort of same look and it's the exact same functionality. It just, it's a, about a foot longer. 
because the throttle on the Kohler was pulled, I think it was pulled down and it was on this side so it was a short run for the throttle cable where this one, the Predator cable needs to come in from this side to work. So I ran the throttle around, I took advantage of one of the uh, holes that's drilled here in the side of the engine that wasn't being used for anything. This is a six millimeter, uh, one thread pitch bolt, you can find that anywhere off the shelf at the hardware store. Again, M6-1.00 by, I don't know what the length is, maybe, I don't even, I don't even remember, maybe, maybe a 20 length or something like that. Um, so anyhow, M6-1.00 bolt on a, just a quarter inch washer, because that's what I had handy. And you don't want to smash it in there too tight, but you do want it to retain it. And I, it kind of is in the way of the recoil starter, but if you try to put the throttle cable on the other side, then you're right up against the muffler. It's going to rattle. It's going to be noisy. Uh, where if you pull it in tight on this side, up against the, it's sort of up against the base of the tank, but it's not rattling. It's not really in the way of the recoil starter. It's just you got to put it somewhere, and that's that ends up being the most convenient. Um, the other thing I did was this is the low oil shutoff, and I disconnected that low oil shutoff. So that's a safety feature on this engine. If you were to run it low on oil, it automatically stops the engine, and it won't start back up until there's a sufficient amount of oil to, to trip this sensor. I disconnected that because the way, this, the way the tiller operates, it's leaned back so far that my fear is it's gonna be kicking out the low oil feature and there's actually gonna be plenty of oil in the engine, but I'm, I'm afraid that the low oil feature is just, it's gonna be a, a nuisance. So I just went ahead and disconnected it. I mean, hell, the old Kohler didn't have it, you know, so. You'll just have to, you know, manually keep an eye on your oil level, which is, you know, you should be doing that anyhow. Uh, with that in mind, though, you probably ought to run just a little bit of extra oil in it. Um, right now, the way that the book recommends, the oil level should not quite be up to the level of the of the uh, fill hole. Um, you know, it should be down just a bit. I want to say like like a sixteenth or an eighth down from overfilling. Uh, I just I just filled it up until it run out, put the cap on. So run a little extra oil. You ought to be good. Um, that's it, guys. The thing, it works great. Uh, let's see here. I did just have it running, so it should, shouldn't should need choke. But yeah, it's not going to need choke. got any questions about this leave me a comment i'll see if i can't help you i hope i helped you with this one if i did click that thumbs up button you'll see me working on more stuff out here in the garage click the subscribe button until the next time keep on tinkering